It's day 130 of the project and today's scent of the day is one from high street fashion brand Reese. This one is called Black Oud and to find out my thoughts on this one and whether or not I think it's worth picking up, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 130 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. So today's featured scent is called Black Oud and I first became aware of this one uh, actually through my nephew. We met up one day just to uh, have a few games of pool and I kept catching wafts of his fragrance and in the air it smelled uh, quite expensive with a, a little bit of a niche quality to it and I thought it might have been something like Tom Ford's Black Orchid uh, because it was that kind of like sweet oriental vibe. Anyway, I asked him what it was and he told me that it was uh, Black Oud from Reese. Uh, and a few weeks later I was in the, I was in the store buying a, a suit for a job interview and I saw a stack of these on the checkout and they were £40 each so I thought you know I'll just pick one of those up for review. However when I opened it up and sprayed it it didn't smell anything like what I remembered it to smell like on my nephew uh, and instead of the like the sweet oriental accord this was much uh, much more dark and dense uh, it was like a really dark hood which was fairly dry. Anyway, after doing a little bit of digging on the Reese website and on Fragrantica, uh, it be just became apparent that there's actually been three releases uh, from the brand which have all been called Black Oud, and all three have got totally different note breakdowns. So it turns out he had bought this version, and I had bought this version thinking it was this version, and the version that came out before this version looked like this one. Are you still following me? Yeah, I know my head was also scrambled as well, so I'm going to be talking about this version today. Yes, yeah, so into the presentation, and there's nothing too much to get uh, too excited about with this one. It's just a, a plain black box in a, a matte black finish, and on the front we've got the name of the house and the name of the fragrance. And then underneath we've got the size and concentration, which is an odor parfum, and this one is the 100ml bottle size. At the uh, bottom of the box there is just some product information and your batch code, and then all the way all the way around it then is just uh, it's just plain, so very very simple and straightforward. The bottle follows the same uh, simplistic minimalistic design, and it's uh, fairly heavy. It's a fairly heavy glass bottle, uh, and you can just see the juice if you hold it up to uh, a bright light. There's a chrome cap, uh, but this one just slides onto the atomizer, so don't definitely don't attempt to pick it up by the cap, otherwise you might end up with uh, either a broken bottle or a broken toe because this is uh, very heavy and the cap doesn't click into place. The sprayer is uh, is decent enough, uh, and and there's nothing really special or anything to get too excited about with this one, but I just think it looks minimalistic, modern, and fairly stylish. The top notes in this one are bergamot, orange, eucalyptus and cardamom. In the heart there's cedarwood, jasmine and musk. And in the base there's amber and labdanum. Yeah, so this one opens up with fresh aromatic notes with zesty citruses and cardamom. Uh, but it's the eucalyptus that I can pick up on the most uh, in the initial spray. And it's a really crisp, uh, like a menthol accord, uh, which is instantly uh, met head on with a, a deep dark oud. It's quite dense and very masculine right from the opening spray with an intense woodiness and ever so slightly sweetened by the amber. It's quite smoky and fairly resinous, but it retains that eucalyptus note into the dry down and it seems to be just fighting for attention over the darker notes. And I was unsure if it was just my mind playing tricks on me, so I tested it side by side with the king of the cheap ouds, which is Oud for Glory by Letafa, which is uh, a clone of Oud for Greatness by Initio Parfums. And sure enough, um, this just had hardly any sweetness compared to the Oud for Glory. Uh, and also this one had much more of like a, a leathery smell. 
The Reese has a, a definite herbal and medicinal quality, which is not unpleasant, uh, but it's quite sharp and uh, something I haven't really come across in many of the oud fragrances that I've tried in the past. It smells very classy and elegant though, and I'd say it's much more of a versatile and wearable oud uh, than your uh, usual Middle, Middle Eastern monsters. Yeah, I'd say this is actually pretty versatile, uh, but if I had to pick uh, the most ideal time to wear it, I'd probably say outdoors um, in the autumn time because it is extremely woody. But like I've just said, that menthol eucalyptus note stops it from ever becoming uh, anywhere near a, a sweet winter scent. And I'd say that this is more of a fresh oud uh, that you could wear in warmer climates or even uh, as an office fragrance. It definitely has a dressed up feel about it though, so if you're going to wear it to work, it would be for a job where you dress quite sharply. It's perfect to wear with a suit and it would also work really well for formal evening occasions also. This one's best suited to men over the age of 25 because there's nothing too, uh, too young and playful in here. It's quite a serious scent and uh, it kind of projects this, uh, this air of sophistication and, uh, and, and power. Considering it's uh, an eau de parfum concentration and also an oud based fragrance, the performance on this is on the weaker side. It's not a bad uh, performer or, or anything like that, but the projection is pretty light and you have to be pretty close up to the skin uh, to, to pick it up as the wearer. However, uh, the flanker that my nephew was wearing was projecting really well, so maybe this is another one where everyone around you can pick up wafts of it, but uh, when I'm wearing it, I don't catch many wafts uh, unless I go kind of direct to the skin. It does stick around for maybe five to six hours, uh, so again, a very lightweight performance for a fragrance in this category, uh, but pretty decent for a, a high street fashion store. Yet I'd say this one complements the Reese brand perfectly because just like all the Reese clothing, it's got good quality. It's stylish and elegant and minimalistic, uh, but also a touch on the pricey side for, for what it is. The version that my nephew was wearing is a big improvement on this one. So if you do fancy picking up a Reese scent to try out for yourself, uh, that's the one to go for. This is kind of a, a whispering breezy oud with a light projection and I think it smells very nice. But last night I sprayed both this and the oud for glory on the back of each hand and I asked five or six people at work to choose a, a favourite one and literally all of them said that the oud for glory smelled better of the two. So uh, if you are looking for a, a pocket friendly oud fragrance then oud for glory at 20 quid is still the one to go for. And because of that this one gets uh, a 6 out of 10 from me. Yeah, so once again, fellas, that's about it for today's scent of the day. Uh, don't forget, coming up in the next few days, I've got uh, a couple of really exciting and exclusive brand new designer releases to talk about, as well as a couple of really big hitters uh, that have now been around for a couple of years. I'll also be shooting another Perfume Parlor haul video, and spoiler alert, there is uh, a couple of beauties in that one. So uh, next week is going to be huge with some really good stuff to look out for. So as always guys, uh, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It's always great to hear that your, uh, your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques on all of these fragrances that feature in this 365 project. So keep your comments coming down in the comments section. And once again, thank you very much for tuning into this episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.